Right then folks, you join us today on a, on a cold morning on the River Dove and we've come out to do a bit of chub fishing. Um, just to show a few little bait hacks and little edges that can sort of keep those fish coming. When it, when it drops down temperature wise like this and, and the fish become really finicky, that I think that just sort of give you a little edge and keep fish coming. Um, three traditional baits, I'm going to go for meat, bread and cheese paste, proper chub baits. So yeah, hopefully I'll be putting the chub on the bank in a minute. Right, one of the baits that I like to use when it's a little bit warmer than this, to be honest, it's just started snowing, um, is meat. Great bait for chub and it gives you that added sort of extra, if there's a barbel in the swim, there's a possibility, <laughs> or a good chance you can hook the barbel on it. Um, there's a few little things that I do to, the, to my meat to sort of make them a little bit different to what everyone else is doing. One of Ellis Barrage's favourite tricks is to, to coat it like a bonbon. Um, I like to tear my meat up as well. So if you see in there, they're all different shapes and sizes. I've prepped this a couple of days before and literally just open the tin of meat, I tear, like, cut a, probably cut that in half and then tear it into pieces. Oh, like I want various, like there's, there's a little piece there and then there's a great big piece there. So if, you get, if they're being finicky, it's just something that they're not used to seeing all the time. Um, all I'll do is put the torn meat into the into a bait tub, coat it with a little bit of oil or a little bit of haze or a little bit of both um, and then I get a really fishy ground bait. I like either the meaty salmon or the barbel super crush. They both sort of complement meat really well. They're, they're really fishy and quite meaty in, the, in themselves. And I just attach that via a meat screw. And the reason I like the meat screw is Basically, because I've got all different sizes of meat, I don't have to worry about different hair lengths. It's literally, I can just pick a piece of meat up, screw that in, and then let's just quickly just push that into there. And they are really firm. And then I'm good to go. That is literally, I'm fishing that on the same sort of setup, either a really small little link or a couple of SSG, just trying to find little slacks down the inside, under cover, whether that be reeds, grasses, if you can tell sort of whether the water hits the bank, it might be undercut. Just trying all those lightly, lightly sort of chubby spots. Um, really easy to do and it def definitely does add something to your meat. So that's my first uh, little, little bait hack. So a quick little bit on swim selection and this to me is sort of a typical chub swim. You've got you've got cover, you've got a crease with some slower water where the fish can hold up out the flow. And you've actually, or just upstream, this bank here is actually undercut. And what's happened in time is this part of the bank has been undercut but it's eroded and worn away, hence why the tree's in the water. So they've got cover from that. They've got the calm water up the inside and they're almost like a conveyor belt that's created by this, this jut out in the bank. And what the fish will do is sort of sit on the calm side of it at this time of year. And then they can intercept any food coming down on the main flow. It's also got the added bonus of it. It's quite deep as well, especially for a smaller river. So you've got all sort of aspects of a swim that hold chub. Um, they're not going to be out in that main flow at the minute. They're, they're, it's not really where they want to be. They're going to be sat on, on that crease there, waiting for any food to come down. Hopefully we'll catch one and prove it in a minute. Very awkward swim. We've got a fish on, and that is a big fish as well. Come on, Job. Tough, tough days fishing. Trying to get 
me and all those reeds up the inside. Yes. Yes. Well worth going out on the freezing banks of the Dove, catching fish like that. That's a nice one, that is. It's the first one. We've had, we've had a couple of signs in other swims, and they've just been so finicky. And uh, that's the first one that's committed, and he's a good one. So, Ricky, let's get him out. Wicked, a nice fish that is uh, well worth coming out in these cold conditions. This one came to that cheese paste, that single sort of high, um, larvaed up cheese paste. Um, wicked five pound five ounce chub on the River Dove. There's still there's still plenty of potential in him. He's still quite empty. So back end of the season, that's uh, going to be a very nice fish. But yeah, I'm well happy with that. He he's like a block of ice. So I can see why they're being finicky today. But yeah. Hopefully, the first of maybe a few more. Right, another bait that is perfect for sort of today's conditions when the rivers started, the colour started dropping out now. We've had um, a week of really cold conditions, so all the moisture's locked in the ground. It's liquidised bread. Um, you can put a lot of food items in, in the river without actually feeding the fish. It's great as it is, but I don't, when it's, re when it's really hard and, and it's been cold for a long time, I don't want to put a lot of loose feed in and, and potentially either fill the fish up or spread them about. So I want to make the, the feed that I put in as, as attractive as I possibly can. So to just add it a little bit more extra to it, I'm, I'm sort of putting 10 mil. I, I, did, I did a little um, a little bit with a GoPro, how I've actually prepared this. Um, per four slices, I put 10 mil of the hemp and cheesy garlic liquid enhancer. Um, just in the top of the blender so it mixes thoroughly and I can I've done that three times so I've got 12 slices of bread in there and it, it, I could smell it for me it's really punchy and I'll bait a swim up sort of I'll try and do it every half hour if I can if not every hour just just literally a ball or two balls if there's more fish if I've had gone in the swim and I've had signs I know there's fish there I can feed them a little bit more um, and then I just, from a hook bait, to make sure they find it. Cause you, 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 you're trucking out on some of these bigger rivers. There's a lot of water. Um, so I'll just get a bit of haze or a bit of lava. And I'll just, I don't need loads. That'll more than enough. I don't want to turn my, my bread bright pink. I just want a bit of a scent trail. I'll just pinch that on the hook there. And it's something as well. I'll touch on it with the um, with the cheese paste when we come onto that. I mean that they don't see it as often. It's if the fish are getting pressured by other anglers. If you're fishing a slightly busier stretch, it just gives you a bit of an advantage. They, they've picked up white bread, they've picked up normal cheese paste, but then all of a sudden you're putting something new in front of them, and um, it definitely just picks up those cautious fish a little bit quicker. So yeah, that's my, my, my bread tricks. Lastly, we'll go on to one of my all-time favourites. Like, it works in flood conditions, it works when it's freezing cold, it works whenever really, and that's cheese paste. It, Chubb absolutely love it. Um, now, when it's, when it's cold again like this, and it's, it's really scratching weather, I probably won't even feed 
um, when I first get to the river, I'll just sort of have 15 minutes in each sort of likely, likely looking spot. Any, like I say, slacks, looking for slacks, cover, d potential depth. If you know the stretch and you've got some depth with walking pace, that's always good for the chub. Um, and I'm just going to try and hunt them out with a single ball of cheese paste, basically. Um, I will just pop it on the hook like that. So because I'm fishing a single bait, I want to make that as attractive as I possibly can. Um, so what I'll do is I'll get my lava, cheesy garlic again, so it just matches it up. And I'll just put, literally, that's how cold it is today. The lava doesn't really want to come out the bottom. I'll just smear that in there, fold it up like a little, little chub sandwich. And that is good to go. It just makes it that extra little bit punchy. Gives maybe a column, would you call it a column of attraction, but a, a stream of attraction in the centre of the, the river. If you're fishing that above any sort of feature or any sort of slack, those chub can sit down in the flow and they'll, they'll smell that, all that attractiveness coming down, hopefully straight to your hook bait. Um, great way for just when you've really got a scratch. And that is, that is my go-to. If, when I'm preparing my cheese paste as well, I, I've tried it with the oils in and it, it, that definitely has made a difference as well. I, it's all personal preference, whether you just want to, how much you put in basically, um, whether you want it to smell different to cheese and just be like a carrier. And if I was going to do that, I'd put more liquidised bread into my mix. But yeah, it's, it's brilliant. It catches loads of chub. Right then, hopefully you'll uh, you'll take some little hints and tips of uh, on my approach to fishing with traditional baits. Just a, a few little bits that sort of help put the the odds in your favour when it's really hard. I mean, today we've had that one nice fish. Um, I've had I've had signs in other swims as well, and they just haven't committed to eating it. Unfortunately, um, we're losing the light, which isn't great for filming. So, um, but I'm going to stay on because it's good for fishing. I've got my GoPro, and hopefully you'll see me holding something on this, or if not, thanks for watching. Right, fish on. Trying to keep him away from all these blooming snags. I've had a, a bit of a nightmare in this swim in the past. It's a good fish. Come on, Mr. Chubb, make it worth your while. That is a big fish. Get in that net. Oh. Got to love a winter chub. The ever obliging winter chub. Lovely, lovely stuff. Let's get it back. See if we can have some more. Just usual tactics. Boaming round on the cheese paste, like with a tip. Glass tip, so important. Wicked. <laughs>